hi guys and welcome to my channel well on today's video we'll be learning how to draw a hypocycloid and trust me today's video is gonna be something spectacular because i'm be showing you some secrets in drawing hypocycloid and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel ring the bell to get when i post new and exciting videos all right so um for today's example we we'll look at the question so let's say we're given that the radius okay let's put small arrow of the direct of the rotating circle is equal to 21 millimeter and then the radius of the directed circle is equal to 72 millimeter now with those two parameters we can draw a hypocycloid so the first thing i'll do is that i will get my meter rule and i'll measure 21 This way, okay, not maybe towards somewhere around this area, and I'll draw a circle. I'll mark the midpoint and I'll divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So, having divided the circle, now I will start numbering. Uh, I will decide to start, or I will low some numbering from here. I'll call this one. No, let's call it zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess it's not twelve. All right, numbering. Then I will decide from point zero, I will elongate a line. I uh, like straight. Sorry. Okay. Now this line. Remember the radius of our direct circle is 72. So from this zero, I'll measure 72. That's 7.2 in cm. This is 7.2. Alright. I'll place my compass on this point I marked here. And then I'll elongate to zero. And then I'll draw a big arc. But before you continue, I'll advise you place something under your drawing paper to avoid it from snapping while you're I'll still place at this point and then get to six. This is six. And I'll draw an arc. Alright. Now, I'll do the same thing to for 1. So, definitely 1 should pass through 11 and come this way. 2 should pass through 10 and then come this way. Now, I'll do the same thing to for 3 to 9. 4 to 8. Then five to seven. After doing that, I will take my compass. I can measure from zero to eleven, or eleven to zero, or zero to one. The distance here, okay. This distance. I will then start from six, and then I'll be cutting an arc. On the first circumference, that's the bigger circumference. So where I cut, I place the thing there again, cut. Now I will repeat same processes for 12 equal divisions. So I'll be cutting till 12. So after doing that, I will need to change my um my numbering. Okay. So sub 60 I'll have zero. I will come in this way. Zero one. I'll have one here. So please correct it's two. Here I see three, four, five, and here six. I call here seven, here eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Alright, now from this point, I'll call here point um, O. 
I will draw a line from O, okay, to meet all those all those arc I mark on the bigger circumference. That is to one from this center to two, center to three. I'll do the same thing to two, twelve. Now, what I will do next is that I'll come again and pin at point zero. But this time I'm elongating it to the center of our first circle, that's a circle center, and then with that radius, I will draw an arc. This line, I'll prefer it to be very, very thick, so you can distinguish it from other lines. Now, where one and the center arc meet, this is line one and center arc, I'll pin there, elongate to one, with radius, I will draw a circle. Where the center line, this center arc and line two meet, that is here, and then get to two and draw a circle, automatically they will be the same radius. So I'm repeating the same processes for three, four, five, six till twelve. After drawing, you will have something like this. Okay, now I'm done with it. Now I'm actually very, very close to where we will find our locus now watch very carefully i it might look confusing but if you want to still understand how i got these circles again you can just um rewind the video now listen very carefully this is a very critical part now this is zero this is one this is two and this is zero this is one this is circle one this is arc one okay so where circle one First of all, you mark zero as first part. Where circle one and arc one meet, you mark that part. This is arc two. This is two. This is circle two. It's arc two and circle two. Where did they meet? You mark circle three and arc three. This is arc three. You mark circle four and arc four. They meet here, you also mark that point, okay? Circle 5 and arc 5. This is arc 5 and circle 5. Okay, mark this point. Circle 6 and arc 6 automatically will have to be this point here. Okay, now this is 7. So from 6 now, from 7, you start going this way. So from circle 7 and arc 7, this is arc 7. Okay. Circle 8 and arc 8. This is arc 8 and circle 8. Okay. This is circle 9 and arc 9. Circle 10 and arc 10. Circle 11 and arc 11. Arc 11, this is it. So it's somewhere in this area. So go ahead and arc top will end this area. Right. Now, after getting this point, with a neat fine French curve, you will join all these points. Okay, so this is how it will look like after drawing the locus. Alright, now if you want to learn how to draw epicycloid, now epicycloid is the opposite of hypocycloid. Please check on the description part of this video. You will see a link on how you can draw an epicycloid. You can then watch and learn how to draw an epicycloid. Alright, thank you guys for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Very, very important. To show a sign of, of, of appreciation if you found this video helpful also give up a thumbs up like this video and then please make sure you comment or say something on the commentation of this video all right see you guys in the next episode